The Jamaica Labour Party has swept the board, winning at least 48 of the 63 seats. Leader Andrew Holness during his victory speech. It must never be that the government that emerges from this victory takes on any characteristics of arrogance, of inhumility. It must never be that the government that emerges from this victory takes the people for granted in any way. Meanwhile, at the People's National Party headquarters, the silence was deafening. The usually crowded compound was empty, only the production and media crew. A disappointed campaign director of the PNP, Philip Paulwell, says he was surprised by the scale of the defeat. The people believe that the government is deserving of another term. The Jamaica Labour Party out strategize us and again in that regard I have to commend them for that. All across the island the JLP supporters celebrated, some declaring victory shortly after polling stations closed. The vote came at a controversial time amid a global pandemic as people are struggling with job losses, the contracting economy and a spiraling crime rate. Here in one of the nation's tourism hotspots, voters are looking for someone who can provide an answer for their immediate problems. The sector has collapsed due to COVID-19. Things are pretty good. Things are looking up. We want it to stay that way. And in the nation's breadbasket, St. Elizabeth, people want a representative to look out for their best interest. The biggest employer in the region, a bauxite mining company, closed last year after it was taken over by a Chinese firm. Seeing that I'm at home more and, you know, no income, I have to be able to ensure that I have more food at home than the norm. Today, the nation has spoken. With a 37% voter turnout, they have declared the Jamaica Labour Party as the government they want to run the country. Jamila Maitland, Al Jazeera.